in a discovery that could alter the course of global energy history. China has uncovered an astonishing 1 million tons of thorium at its famed Bayan Obo mining complex, a find so vast that scientists estimate it could supply the nation's energy needs for an unimaginable 60,000 years. This revelation is not only a triumph of geological research, but also a potential game-changer for the future of sustainable energy, positioning China at the forefront of a new era in nuclear technology. The discovery comes at a pivotal time, as the world scrambles to secure cleaner energy sources to combat climate change and meet the escalating demands of industrial growth. This thorium discovery is no fluke. It is the product of a comprehensive and meticulous geological survey, one that mapped out 233 thorium-rich zones across China's landscape. This ambitious national mapping effort, conducted using globally recognized standards like the JORC code, highlights the strategic importance China attaches to its resource development. This is not just about identifying deposits, it's about systematically integrating these resources into China's broader energy strategy. The global scientific and policy communities are watching closely, fully aware that if China successfully harnesses this newfound treasure, the implications could echo across continents. Thorium itself is not a new discovery. It is a naturally occurring radioactive element that scientists have studied for decades. What makes China's find groundbreaking is the scale and timing of the discovery, combined with the technological advancements that now make thorium a far more viable energy source than it was in the past. Thorium holds immense promise as an alternative to uranium in nuclear reactors, with studies showing that it can produce up to 500 times more energy per unit than conventional uranium-232. This extraordinary energy density could revolutionize the economics of nuclear power, making it cheaper, more efficient, and far less wasteful than today's uranium-based systems. The environmental benefits of thorium are equally remarkable. Traditional uranium reactors generate highly toxic, long-lived radioactive waste that must be stored securely for thousands of years. Thorium reactors, on the other hand, produce much smaller volumes of waste, and that waste has significantly shorter half-lives. This crucial advantage could address one of the biggest objections to nuclear power, the toxic legacy left for future generations. China's discovery, therefore, is not just about energy abundance. It's about cleaner, more responsible energy stewardship. What truly elevates the excitement around thorium is its compatibility with molten salt reactor technology, a revolutionary form of nuclear power generation. In these reactors, thorium is dissolved into molten lithium fluoride salts, which are then heated to around 1400 degrees Celsius. Neutrons bombard the molten mixture, triggering nuclear reactions that produce fissile uranium-233, which sustains a controlled chain reaction. This system is inherently safer than conventional reactors, operating at low pressures and eliminating the risk of catastrophic explosions associated with high-pressure steam systems. If the reactor overheats, the molten salt expands and naturally slows the reaction, a built-in safety mechanism that drastically reduces the risk of meltdown. This technology's advantages extend well beyond safety. Molten salt reactors can continuously recycle fuel, extracting maximum energy from the thorium and leaving behind minimal waste. Their compact design allows for the construction of smaller, modular units that could be mass-produced and deployed even in remote locations, offering energy independence to off-grid communities. The synergy between thorium's energy density and MS or efficiency paints a future where nuclear power is both decentralized and democratized a future where safe, abundant, and clean energy is within reach for all. The geopolitical implications of China's thorium breakthrough are profound. Energy security has always been a cornerstone of national security, and for decades, countries have competed fiercely over finite fossil fuel reserves. Thorium changes the equation. With a virtually limitless supply now mapped and accessible, China could secure unparalleled energy independence, insulating itself from the volatile oil and gas markets that have dictated global power dynamics for over a century. Furthermore, 
If China perfects and exports thorium reactor technology, it could set global standards, creating a new energy order where resource-rich countries no longer hold the upper hand. China's commitment to thorium is not theoretical. The country has already approved the construction of its first operational thorium molten salt reactor in the Gobi Desert, slated to generate electricity by 2029. This project is a crucial proof of concept, one that could unlock massive investment in large-scale thorium deployment. If successful, it could trigger a global race toward thorium adoption, reshaping not only energy markets but also international relations. Countries that lack domestic fossil fuels but possess thorium reserves could suddenly find themselves energy-rich, shifting the geopolitical landscape in ways that are hard to predict. But for all its promise, thorium is no magic bullet. Significant technical challenges remain before thorium can become a mainstay of global energy production. Mining and processing thorium especially at the scale needed for national energy systems, requires advanced technologies and considerable upfront investment. The infrastructure for uranium fuel cycles is mature and well-established. Thorium supply chain, by contrast, is still in its infancy. The regulatory landscape is similarly uncharted. Nuclear agencies around the world have decades of experience licensing uranium reactors but limited guidelines for thorium-based systems. Public perception is another potential hurdle. Although thorium is safer and cleaner than uranium, it is still radioactive, and the word nuclear remains a red flag for many communities. Effective public education campaigns will be essential to overcome this stigma, ensuring that thorium's benefits are clearly understood and appreciated. Without public buy-in, even the most scientifically sound technology can languish in political limbo. Yet these challenges, though real, are not insurmountable. History is replete with examples of transformative technologies that overcame initial skepticism to reshape the world. Solar power, electric vehicles, and the internet itself all faced early doubts. Thorium's advantages are too compelling to ignore, and as climate pressures mount and the limitations of existing energy systems become painfully clear, the momentum behind thorium will only grow. China's discovery could not have come at a more critical moment. The world stands at an energy crossroads, with climate change demanding a rapid transition away from fossil fuels. Even as global energy demand continues to rise, renewable sources like solar and wind, while vital, cannot yet provide the constant, reliable baseline power that industrial societies need. Thorium bridges that gap offering the reliability of nuclear power without the baggage of uranium's dangers and waste. It is a technology that aligns economic prosperity with environmental responsibility, a rare and precious combination. To conclude, China's thorium discovery is about far more than national energy security. It represents a new frontier in humanity's quest for sustainable development, a scientific and technological leap that could unlock prosperity while safeguarding the planet. Whether China chooses to share this knowledge with the world or guard it as a strategic asset remains to be seen. What is clear, however, is that the world can no longer afford to ignore thorium. It is no longer a theoretical curiosity. It is a practical necessity. And if China's discovery proves anything, it's that the future of energy may already be buried beneath our feet waiting for those bold enough to unearth it. Your perspective matters. What do you make of China's stunning free energy source discovery? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa Wealth and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.